Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson Four here, bringing you guys more Madden 15. And today, I'm here stuck with a little bit of a problem. Now, there's these two players, Levante David and Anthony Barr. A lot of people, you know, for sure, will go in with Anthony Barr, but I'm not sure yet. You know, I want you guys' opinion. You know, all your Madden players, or anybody who's interested in the NFL, who is better in your opinion? I mean, look at look at these two. Same overall, except one is gold, the other one's elite. Now. There is some certain elites out there that are pretty much useless and kind of worse than the golds. And uh, that's what I want to watch out. And I want you guys' opinion. All right. To all you Madden players, if you buy any, tell me your experience with one of these two. All right. Now, let me check Anthony Barr. The thing that I like about Anthony Barr, he does have the height, 6 foot 4. He does have the speed. That's what I like about him. Uh, 91 speed. Let me let me just go all the way to the regular stats. He has 91 speed, 92 acceleration, a lot of speed. I mean, this guy is he's just gonna be going like, out there like a freaking Ferrari, uh, a freaking gigantic Ferrari. He's I mean he's like six foot four, man. Uh, he does have tackling, uh, but he he can still miss him though. At 89, I still don't tr kind of trust him. He can still get run over. He does have uh, jumping. Uh, what else does he have? Uh, some kind of a power moves going on there. Uh, a little bit of block shedding, a lot, a little bit of like good pursuit, a good amount of pursuit, somewhat play recognition, not a lot of zone coverage. He does have injury and stamina. Hit power is all right. I mean, 92 is susceptible. Over 90 is susceptible. I really like to force fumbles out there. If you guys have seen my whole seasons of Ultimate Team, I have forced fumbles with Ahmad Brooks and Vontae's Perfect. And also Gerard Mayo. I mean, all these three guys have over 95 hit power, except for Gerard Mayo. I don't know how he does it, but he can still force fumbles. But Vontae's perfect, and Ahmad Brooks. I mean, those two guys are insane. So let me compare them to uh, who do I have here? Not uh, Mac. I mean, Vontae's perfect. I mean, this this guy, uh, the right side position, the right side linebacker position is has a big role to fill because. Uh, Vontae's perfect. The reason why I kept him there, even though he's slow, he does have tons of pursuit and tons of hit power. I mean, look at that, 95. It ain't that bad. I mean, he's still kind of good. So what Anthony Barr has, you know, it's a big plus, is speed, agility. You know, he can move around. He does have somewhat tackling, but he can still miss him. That's the problem. He does not have zone coverage, which I mostly send my linebackers to. So that's a questionable thing. Now let's go over to Levante David. Levante David, damn, this guy is a straight up tackler. This guy is run proof. That's what I like about the Levante David. 98 tackling, 98 pursuit. That's just insane. He does have a good amount of acceleration, which means this guy is just going to take off straight up to the run. Uh, block shedding is going to be a major disappointment for this guy because for sure, once he gets into somebody's face, you know, some offensive lineman, this guy's going to struggle. So it's a 50 50 thing going on with this guy. He does have more run stuff than the uh, than Anthony Barr. The speed, uh, Anthony Barr beats him on speed, but it's still all right. I still, you know, it's acceptable. Awareness is okay. Tackling is just amazing. 98 tackling, good amount of jumping. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about linebacker. You know, having 88 jumping, uh, good amount of pursuit, play recognition, zone coverage. That's a big plus right there because I mostly send my linebackers in zone coverage half of the time. Uh, injury. I mean, he does have some. He has a lot of that, but he does not have hit power, which means I cannot hit stick with this guy. If not, he's gonna miss 100% of the time, and that's one of the things that I'll probably miss. You know, since I'll probably gonna have to go with more tackling skills because the higher you go in the overalls, the less hit power you go. I mean, check it out, guys. I mean, check out like. I don't know, Vontae's perfect over there. Check out every player in the elite position at his side at Vontae's perfect at uh, 83 overall. And comparing with the elites, the elites have less hit power than him. So, I don't know, it's a questionable call. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, Levante David, Levante David is run proof, but the problem is you cannot hit stick him. But he does have a good amount of zone coverage, which is also good against the passes. So... I don't know. Levante David also comes to mind. So it's between these two guys. Uh, I don't even know who I'm going to buy. It's just that I really want to ask you guys because I'm, I'm like stuck here, like a, a little dilemma, you know, a little bit of a problem because I don't know who am I supposed to pick up. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of falling towards Levante. I mean, he does have elite status and uh, for sure he's going to be uh, very run proof with 98 tagging and 98 pursuit. So. I'll probably show my buy tomorrow, guys. So, 
uh, do not worry you know I'm not gonna buy right now and just leave it behind cameras I'll choose tomorrow so you'll be surprised who I choose but I want to hear your opinion guys so leave your opinion in the comment section let me know tell me you know which one's better and uh, thank you for